that should be good, I guess. <laughs> We're professionals here, professional. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not either, dude. It's a yeah. one-woman show over here. Listen, I am Alex Lajas, Queen of the Ring. I am here with Bronson Reed. What an introduction. That's you know, <laughs> you know, I did it in complex. I got to do it again. Yes. <laughs> but the last time we spoke, Stranger Things was out. We talked about our good old Kate, Kate Bush, running up the hill. All right, what's on the on the playlist? Is she still going on? No, I mean, I mean, she's in there. She's in my shuffle. But more, most recently, I've been listening to a lot of, believe it or not, Julian Baker. Do you know Julian who she Baker? is? Julian Baker? I don't think she's, I know. She's a great artist. Uh, she does a lot of acoustic music. Okay. And so sometimes, you know, I'm around a lot of a lot of uh, big testosterone energy. And I'm in the gym a lot, and sometimes I just need something to relax to. Yeah. And especially when I'm on flights, I listen to a lot of acoustic music. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. It's like a little zen it is. moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just for me. Just for myself. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was digging through your, your Instagram. Yep. And I saw, you know, I got to say, you are the pumpkin king of Halloween. Because you and your wife, you did Jay and Silent Bob bit last year, and yeah. then you did Teen Wolf. I did do Teen Wolf. How yeah. hot was it in that costume? I, I was sweating constantly. <laughs> Uh, you know, a Teen Wolf in Florida as well. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, I was sweating constantly. But for me, like, I've always been a huge fan of Halloween, and it's not a big thing in Australia. So it was always a dream of mine to come to America and celebrate Halloween. So now every year I'm going to go all out and try and do something cool. So that was the bucket list, WWE and then Halloween? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> yeah. 100%. And, and in my neighborhood, I give out candy, so like a few people noticed it was Bronson Reed, but you know, the costumes help. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's your favorite Halloween candy? I'm a Butterfingers no, girl myself. I mean, I, uh, if, I, if I look at all the different packs, I'm not sure. I'll eat any candy. I'm pretty, I'm pretty easy to please, to be honest. <laughs> dude, that's fair. That's fair. But dude, like I, I love horror as well, Me too. and I, I know you do because we talked about yes. that on Complex. So if they were to like reboot a franchise, what would you like to star in? For me, a hundred percent. A Nightmare on Elm Street movie would be great. I think I'd be a pretty easy kill for uh, old Freddy to get into my dreams. Uh, so, so maybe that. I mean, I know the Friday the 13th franchise is sort of on, on the rocks as well. I'd like to be in some sort of slasher film. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you the killer or are you going to get killed? Get killed. But I also think I'd be a good killer in a slasher film as well. I mean, you're killing the outfit right now. So, I don't know. Great kid. <laughs> They, called, they my, called me that on the streets. Dude, he's one of my favorites of all time. Do you have like a favorite moment or favorite match? Yeah, 100% the boyhood dream. When he when he won at WrestleMania 12, became champion for the first time. I was a kid watching that and it inspired me obviously even more so into my career. And then I was lucky enough when I was in NXT to be coached by him for a good almost a year mm -hmm. and that just made me even more of a fan of him so yeah dude. Big time. one of my favorites is SummerSlam 2002 when he came oh, back for the street fight with Triple H incredible match incredible oh match oh my god dude yeah. I used to download that on LimeWire all the time <laughs> <laughs> me too the worst was I would download things on LimeWire and be like okay I'm gonna watch this match and then it would just be a virus <laughs> a virus or, or something else. I have to move to a different folder. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Or erase the history. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't talk about that. We won't talk about that. But what we will talk about, WWE 2K24, it was announced. How are we feeling about it? What do we think our ratings going to be this year? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm excited because for some reason I didn't make it into 2K23. Mm -hmm. I think I returned to WWE a little bit too late. Obviously, before then, I was supposed to be in the game, but obviously got released and it didn't work out. Yeah. So hopefully, finally, you get to play as Bronson Reed in 2K24. I've done all the scans, mm -hmm. so it should happen, and uh, I need a high rating. Come on. Like, uh, no one's ever kicked out of the tsunami. Like a 92? Yeah, at, le a at least a 90. Yeah. Come on, a 90 at least. It has to be. It has to be. Yeah. It has to be. All right. I'd be upset if it's less. I would be too. I'll message you and be like, what's happening? Yeah, do it, do it. I'd be like, man, I don't know. Two K's in the You'll room. Let me go talk to, to them. For me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be your manager. I'll be like, listen, stand back. Stand 90, back behind 90, me. Yeah, ninety <laughs> or anything above, but nothing underneath. <laughs> it has to be. Fingers yeah. crossed, dude. Fingers crossed. But let's talk about video games. What's your favorite video game of all time? Give me a list. Give me a list. For me, I grew up playing the Super Nintendo. Then I became a PlayStation kid. 
Uh, so I've got to say, it's probably Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers 3 out of oh, the three. Okay. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Specifically that one. I, I mastered that game. I knew where to get the whistles and skip ahead and everything like that. So definitely that one. How did you feel about the movie? I didn't mind it. I thought it was pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know some people were upset about it, but I thought it was cool. Yeah. yeah. Getting to see, you know, what I grew up playing as a movie was really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm a big 2D guy. So whether it's side-scrolling games or fighting games like Street Fighter or King of Fighters, that's sort of my stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are those are good ones. The movie was pretty good, you know. Jack Black was really good. So um, oh, he's great. Are we gonna get a, a voice acting role for you in the next Super Mario Brothers movie? Uh, probably not, but <laughs> I feel like I do have a voice. I've had a, a few people approach me because I have a, a deep register, but I also have that little bit of Australian twang to it. So. You know, I'd like to do some voice acting. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. What character in the Super Mario universe would you like to <laughs> voice? Even if it's Bowser. It may be just one of the little Goombas. <laughs> Dude, one of the little Goombas with your deep voice? <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> you don't expect it. <laughs> but I got to talk gear with you because your gear is on point. You did the Bam Bam Bigelow gear. Yes. That was so cool. So, like... What do you look into when it comes to like styling yourself, going to your seamstress and yeah. inspirations? I mean, I'm a big gear guy and I've spent a lot of money on gear as well. Yeah. Uh, so, so far I've done a lot of inspiration from wrestling. Mm -hmm. Obviously I did the Bam Bam Bigelow gear. Uh, my next action figure that comes out is actually my, my uh, Ode to Misawa, which was my green and silver gear I wore on Backlash. Uh, but this, you know, Royal, my Royal Rumble gear and going forward is not with wrestling is sort of inspired by something else outside of wrestling that I like so you're gonna to have to wait and see what that is and we're gonna get a little bit more of that inspo hopefully I don't know if it's gonna be this weekend or Monday night but you might see some things in my entrance change as well yeah, yeah, there's a little first off. No, yeah, there's a little, I got little the scoop yeah, I got the scoop <laughs> Now, you know, since we're still on gear, last question I gotta ask. We're on the road to WrestleMania, we're packing the bags, getting in the car. Yes. So I have to ask, what is your favorite WrestleMania gear of all time from the past? WrestleMania gear? I probably, I'm gonna, you know, say Shawn Michaels again and say the WrestleMania 12, he had the white and gold. And I've always wanted to Speaking do my language. I've always wanted to do white gear. Okay. I'm a big guy, yeah. so I stick to a lot of black. But maybe this year WrestleMania will be the first time I crank out the old white. Yeah. We'll see. Or maybe an uh, elimination chamber. Oh. Chamber as well, but chamber being in Australia I'll probably maybe do something Australian thing. Got you, got yeah, you, yeah, got yeah. you, got you. Yeah, dude, WrestleMania 12 when he zip lines down. Incredible. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to do that for WrestleMania? <laughs> well, <this year>? uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Some sort of uh, a zip line or something from the air would be pretty cool, but in the stadiums now, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, maybe, yeah. If it's a closed off stadium, yeah, maybe. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to fly through all those people. Yeah, I maybe I'll come down in a blimp. I haven't seen anyone do the blimp yet. Oh, dude, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah, Remember be, the old school, like, 1-800-Select? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I get my own uh, big Bronson Reed blimp. We need it. Yeah, we need it. On. I'll get on that, the 2K thing. Yes. Don't worry, I got you. Yeah, you I got, got you. already. <laughs> New interest here as well. <laughs> we got to get it sorted. happening. We got to get it happening. I got you. Don't yes. worry, you know I always got you. <laughs>